Hi guys. Okay, so this one's going to be basically on the idea of why would you want a kit on your knife, or why I like to have a kit, a, a kit on my knife. Let's put it that way. That's probably okay. I'm just moving the camera around here a little bit. Um, <clears throat> the reason why you would want a kit on your knife is let's say I'm in the woods and I'm out and I'm camping and whatever and for some reason I get out there and I forget my where, where my camp is okay I no longer then I have no long I no longer have access to my tent to my pack to virtually anything in that area okay so then at that point, I'm reduced to what I have literally physically on me at that time. If I happen to be wearing a knife, that's good. If I happen to be wearing my tomahawk, that's even better. Okay. But if I don't have any, something else, I'm going to have a harder time. Okay, if all I'm carrying out there is just a couple of cutting tools, can I affect fire using primitive methods? Probably. But why wouldn't I want to have something small to help me uh, get that fire, get that first fire if I need it? Okay, and that's why <clears throat> I'm a huge fan of not only having a kit in your pack and have your pack be a kit. But I'm a, I'm a huge fan of pretty much having a kit on your body as well. One of the easiest ways that I've found to do that is attached to a knife. Okay? So let's go over my kit real quick. Just give you an understanding of what I have found to be important, at least to me. Okay? We've gone over the knife. It's a 9-inch uh, OSC-8 steel, handcrafted by Bushcraft My Way. Okay? I've went over it in other videos. There you go. Alright. <clears throat> now, at the end you'll find cordage braided together and basically your your standard stackable uh, lanyard type knot. Okay. You'll find bank line. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to do this with the crappy lighting that I have. But basically, we have bank line that's wrapped around the sheath as well, about 50 feet of it. Okay, so that, that covers me for cordage. So that just between those two cordage pieces there, I can actually do quite a bit uh, when it comes to setting up a camp, setting up a ridge line. If I find uh, a tarp or something like that, I can do that. If I'm trying to lash some poles together to create a teepee. A debris type shelter if I'm trying to do a lean-to if I'm trying to do whatever it's always good to have cordage so if I've got a whole bunch of extra cordage that isn't gonna rot isn't gonna mildew then isn't gonna give me a whole bunch of trouble why not carry it and if I'm gonna carry it why don't I have a little bit extra on my sheath knife that's that's where I'm going with. Um, for my leg straps I also am using uh, bank line as well so uh, even if I have to if, even if I'm down to taking the cordage out of my leg straps it's still better to have that cordage just to not have it okay all right so before I even open my little pouch sticking right out of the top of it I've got a ferro rod that's connected by bank line again okay now for my handle of it I have Gorilla Tape around it. Why Gorilla Tape? Gorilla Tape is one of the very few duct tapes that is actually flammable. So if I take a small wad of it and I were to hit it with a cigarette lighter, it would burn, much like napalm. And it, when it burns, it's very sticky like napalm, so it's going to stick and burn for a long time. At least long enough to heat up whatever I need to heat up um, in my tinder bundle to get hit to start to flame as well. So not only is it a great handle for my ferro rod, but it is also a fire starting implement in and of itself. Okay. 
All right, so when I open my pouch, you'll find that that other end of bank line is attached to a knife sharpener that's inside the pouch that's held by friction, plus this flap that goes over the pouch. So this is not going to become separated from the pouch very easily. And it gives me two things. It gives me fire and a way to sharpen my knife and keep my knife sharp. Kind of an important thing. Okay. Yes, you can sharpen your knife, your knives with uh, rocks and such, but really, if you can keep from it, it's best to do so. And if I've got something that's small and in this pouch already to allow me to do that, no, I don't have to worry about trying to find a rock. I can just use that cigarette lighter. Have one, love it, use it. Okay. The single best fire starting implement is a cigarette lighter in my opinion and here's why. Even if it gets wet, a lot of the time they can dry out after a little bit and get a Bic. Why? A Bic lighter is always better made, I have found, than any other knockoff lighter. One. Two, the cost. A Bic lighter costs you about 99 cents. And it'll give you 3,000 lights, give or take, or advertised. There you go. I went ahead and wrapped mine in Gorilla Tape as well. Why? Again, Gorilla Tape being flammable. Hey, now I've got a way of starting fire with a lighter, my Gorilla Tape. Yes, you can write, you can start Gorilla Tape with a ferro rod but it's a pain in the ass because you got to get all the fibers separated and then hit it with the spark and it's just a pain in the ass. It's a lot easier to just unravel some of this Gorilla Tape, wire it up into a ball, hit it with a cigarette lighter for a few seconds, get it good and burning and then I can create a flame off of that. Okay, I can create a fire off of that. So this literally is a fire kit in and of itself right here. Boom. Okay, so already we have two ways of starting fire right here. Ferro rod, lighting gorilla tape, cigarette lighter, lighting gorilla tape, and then we can also use the cigarette lighter to light our tinder bungle as well. So there's three ways of starting fire just between those two influences right there, or three. Okay. Chainsaw file. Small, shortened. I cut it uh, using my Dremel tool and a cutoff wheel. It's good for reholing, for resharpening your knife, whereas the knife sharpener is best for honing the blade. This is best for actually sharpening the blade should I get it completely dull, okay? To where it needs to be redone completely. I can do this. Is it going to be a pain in the ass to do? Yeah. Is it going to take a while? Yeah. But I can do it, okay? <clears throat> Next thing I have in my uh, bag of goodies, magnesium bar. Scrape off the small magnesium shavings, hit them with a fair rod or a cigarette lighter or whatever, and they will burn. They will burn hot. They'll also burn very fast. That's why you need a lot of them. So carry a good sized bar with you. It's useful. It helps. There you go. Uh, I have a a ferro rod striker just in the case that I don't find something to use other than my knife and if I feel like I don't want to use my knife or whatever or if I want to I don't know use something metal for something or if I wanted to sharpen this real quickly uh, to use as a small knife uh, because I may not need the large knife for something uh, it may be too big for what I'm trying to do, so if I sharpen this, it gives me the ability to sharpen it. It also gives me something extra to have. <coughs> Is it something that I would actually need in my kit? No, but it's something I like to have anyway. Just as an in case thing. Okay, next thing I've got, I've got four alcohol prep pads. Why alcohol? Why prep? Well, alcohol will combust. It is a type of accelerant. It will help me start fire. 
and the fact that it's got a prep pad with it that'll help start fire as well it also is a good antiseptic it's sterilization as well if I get a boo-boo or an owie out there which I probably will at some point next thing I've got sale meal I've already got preloaded with some bank line wrapping it reason why you wouldn't want a number four sale meal I bought this one off of Jave Canberra's website for like three bucks <clears throat> it's great for sewing up things it's great for repairing your gear if you do need a suture if you need to sew yourself up really 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 bad and there isn't anything else around I could use this to sew myself up with I really would have a hard time for seeing myself needing a, that type of medical attention but if I did I have it I at least have the means to do that long enough to get me out of the field to be honest most of the time all I would need is duct tape duct tape it up which I have two different sources with the Gorilla Tape to do that for me so yeah but it's still always good to have a good sewing meal like this um, it's also great for picking splinters out whatever okay there you go and then the last thing that I've got is I have some charred lamp wick okay now char cloth is one of the most important things that you can have especially if you've got a ferro rod because the char cloth ignites very easily with a ferro rod it will give you an ember now you put that ember then into a tender bundle pull a tender bundle and it will become flame um, so there you go so that's why I always make sure that I carry char cloth with me as well the reason why it's in a plastic bag is to make sure it doesn't get wet because once it gets wet it's no good so there you go and then I've got an extra piece of uh, chainsaw file as well so pretty much that's my kit on a on a knife it's not a whole lot obviously because the pouch that I have is you know three inches by four inches but in that little pouch I've got enough stuff there to at least get me through a couple of days you know um, basically it's fire heavy it's cordage heavy it's it's uh, cutting tool uh, heavy because of the knife and possibly the tomahawk so with that just those implements right there I can probably I I feel very confident that I could uh, survive long enough to at least keep warm figure out where my pack is figure out my immediate situation and what I need to do next and that's what it all is about because um, once you get past the three the three day scenario now you're into a long term scenario and then that's where you really need to start thinking about okay now you should be thinking about water you know within the first day for sure but by the third day you're thinking seriously about okay what am I going to do for shelter? What am I going to do for food? What am I going to do for water? What am I going to do for this? What you know, and these longer term uh, topics, whereas this stuff right here is just going to give me a decent three day amount, so I can survive a short amount of time, so at least I can figure out what the hell I'm doing next, and that's what it's all about. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, if you're carrying a knife, uh, and I would definitely recommend that you carry a knife um, in any anywhere you go but uh, especially if you're going into the woods carry a larger knife carry a sheath knife and carry a kit on your knife okay so that then you have these things available to you no matter what happens to your pack or other belongings you still have something to fall back on so anyway thanks I appreciate your comments I appreciate your views I appreciate your time defend your homes wisely